So we're coming up to the start line, starts in about half an hour. Got Dan on the hill, if we're ready. How are the motions right now? Running hard. Running. Well, good luck guys. Alright Dan, all set for it? I am all set for it, just want to get going now. Yep. Say hello. So we're just at the Eddystone, we've got the Boslo Corsan fishing boat there. Come out solo. Oh, pots of heads, pots of heads. We've got Ross on Pegasus of Northumberland. He's starting to dip. And then the other guys are about to get the spinnaker up. So around the Edderstone, got the chute up, a little bit tight for it really. Uh, threw in angle about 115, 120, so she's pretty strapped in. But uh, we've got Pegasus there, and Kahoo is just on our windward hip here. He's got just headsails up. So we're we're doing we're doing good here. We've actually got some good boat speed, uh, pretty much just matching wind speed. Morpheus is off there in the distance somewhere. Got our reef jib, acts as a little staysail. That seems to be working with the kite. Belladonna is back here. She's got a kite up, going a bit low really, but good speed. We just want to get down the track before the weather weather shuts down really. So we just want to keep the gas on. But a uh, new bird this time, the poor old uh, Cornish chuff broke its legs just the other day, just before we left. So we've had to revert back to just a regular crow for our company. Anyway, it's looking a bit, a bit more overcast in land there. It's meant to start raining and the breeze drop away. So we just want to keep going south and west. So just, uh, just got past Land's End, just over here. And we've got Pegasus, he crept up on us a bit, we've just popped the kite. So we are just about matching his speed, maybe just starting to creep away a little bit. The TS to hook Kahoo, he's looking like he's going a bit further south. It's, it's tricky, right? Unleashed, there he goes, he's unleashing his big weapon. He may take off now. That looks quite big. So we've got lots of shipping. They're all lining up for the TSS on the head. We've got Morpheus in the distance. He's uh, about five or six miles ahead, doing similar speed. We've got the A3 up. He was really soft in the uh, Catchwith Bay there. He lost a lot out. So uh, 
I think you should start galloping in again soon, but we're just trying to suss out what the wind's going to do. Looks like it's going to come down from the north at some point, but we've got a bit more pain to get through yet. Dan is uh, hoping to uh, dial in the weather gods. Sail around it. Anyway, we're not too bad. 12 knots of wind, 11 knots of boat speed. Right, and what's Pegasus going to do? Is he going to... That's a big thing to sheet in. And he'll either come up on us or he won't. So that's Pegasus there. Just starting to creep past us. He's probably got about half a knot, a knot on us. Quite a nice big sail, that. What we're missing, really, is a big, uh, bigger overlapping Code Zero. Got the... Uh, T.S. Kahu, he's popped his kite up now, so he's a couple of miles back there. And in the far distance, we've got Sueños and Belladonna that are about six, seven miles back. We've got Morpheus up there, he still looks very slow. On the AIS, he's not doing very well. Morpheus, 1.98. That's not a good number, which does suggest that maybe there's a great big hole up here in a moment. So, we'll have to see what comes. So here we are, just waiting for the uh, breeze to do some something. We've got Morpheus up there, Pegasus, little coaster, TS out there in the distance, and coming up still with a bit of breeze is Sueños and Belladonna. Just just around the lizard there. We're hoping that the breeze is just going to shuffle on down from out of Mounts Bay here at Land's End. Just off the end of the jib there. Let's see what happens in the next little while. So coming to the close of daylight on day one. It's um, the whole fleet's bunched back up together. Everyone's slightly further to the south of us. And um, we've got a little bit of a sun about to go down there. She's pretty bright and we're praying for the wind to come in from the north, but it's not showing much sign of it at the moment. Dan's just delivered a little bit of a chicken curry. Eat your heart out, Oriole. <laughs> I'm sure it's not as good as your one, Oriole. <laughs> oh, God. Outrageous! Look at that. Bit of a sun, isn't it? How many more of those are we going to see? Well, morning. It's uh, day two, Monday, 30th of June, I guess. No, yes, May, May still. Now, yeah, the sun is getting a glimpse of coming out. We've uh, left the Silly Isles and the traffic separation zone. 13 to 15 knots of wind, plugging away, sail strapped in, just up and down a little bit. Got Morpheus ahead here, doing 10 knots and 10 miles ahead. And then we've got about just under 10 miles on the, on the other boats. Got Sueños, Kahoo. Pegasus, Belladonna, Easy Tiger, but it's uh, a little bit chilly, I'm not looking forward to when it really goes northerly, and we've got to go up the west coast, still, not a bad start to the day, somewhere between 8.5 and, and 10 knots towards our destination. So, Monday afternoon, just come up for a little sleep. After Dan's luxurious lunch, prawn cocktail sandwiches, no less. I think he's going to become a chef shortly. Wants to uh, explore yacht chefing. So we've got the yellow brick there. She's sending out the signal. Breeze done a little bit of a, uh, a flick to the west, so we've uh, tacked and are heading sort of due north at the moment. 82 miles to Bull Rock. Hi there, Dan. How are we? Oh, I'm just having a little sleep there. Huh? Just nodding off again. It's so scintillatingly exciting. 
No, we've um, taxed, we've hit the lift, heading towards the Irish coast. Um, yeah, so I'll leave it to you for a bit, Simon. See if you can break it. I'm sure we'll give the breakages a go. Park up in a nice hole, wait for the boats to catch up. Usual stuff. Does cat galley's doing well as usual. Look at how clean it is. There's only one spot of dirt on there. We'll move that one out of the way. And uh, has Dan actually turned the gas off? Oh yes, he's even turned the gas off. Good lad. We've got Matt's favourite, the Vimto here. An assortment of uh, cup of soups. And uh, new addition this year is we've got the Bayesian pepper, Aunt May's sauce. So uh, this is our little challenge. Can we can we get rid of this bad boy on the trip, or can we make it one per leg? That's not looking so likely at the moment. Back into Dan's pit. I'll have to have a word with him about making his bed after his watch. I think after his off watch. This is the one of the bits I do like about this uh, big long forward cabin. Is uh, it allows you to take all sorts of clutter with you. We've got a. Uh, Sheet of plywood there, should uh, we need to patch a large hole, window perhaps, got some spare battens, you know, you never know when you're going to break a batten. We've got the, uh, bringing a bit of extra weight, the chair, but I think that might come in handy at some point. We've got a spare halyard, spare main halyard there, a few warps, and then we've got um, some drogues down here. In case the weather catches us out, we've done the old drogues twice now. So, uh, and there's a this little ropes saved us a couple of times on previous round Britain trips. In here, we've got the sort of hanging wet locker, and then the long suite so whenever we're not racing and um, this is our little guest accommodation normally the starboard forward got the tuck away toilet just gives a little bit of privacy in here storage water tanks good access to the water pump and the plumbing which has got the ability to turn the tanks off here in one location port and starboard Fruit bowl hasn't had to see much activity yet. It's just settled there. I'm sure it'll Might nearly end up upside down. Might be eating fruit, it's alright. These uh, lovely hatches by the galley there. Very useful. You can see the see the sails. As well as get the uh, ventilation in. Tuesday morning, the ball. What a beauty she is! And then, is that the heifer or the calf? There's a calf and a heifer. Well, welcome to Ireland. It's uh, grey as usual by the looks of things. How are we then, Dan? Look at it. Fantastic up the Theme tune from your Spotify. Oh, there we go. Star stacking. Star stacking. There she is, the bull. The bull, the heifer, and the calf. Is that the calf there then? The cow. I'm sure I saw one which said the calf. One of our little charts. Here we are. So, Farset Rock, Bantry Bay, and then here, the bull, the calf, there we are, little calf are there. Anyway, it's been a good night. One little minor glitch, we've got a uh, little leaking, little leak down here in the toilet. I think the chain plate is, uh, 
Who's a bit, we'll have to put a bit of uh, sealant on that when we get up to Galway. Inside the electrics box. Need to see the state of charge, where are we? So we got 55% uh, of 420 amp hours. Do a bit of charging in a bit. There are some numbers there for you number people. Sailing a bit free, seems to be working just free and a little bit fast. And hopefully Dan will rustle up something for breakfast. He does like seeming to cook for me. So a little a bit of drama on Tuesday morning. So we just passed the ball and uh, heading up to Bantry Bay or beyond. And uh, we've got a little bit of a sink blockage. Now, this hasn't happened before, so uh, don't know what's going on, but uh, there's quite a lot of grease, quite a lot of coffee floating around. So, and there's one new factor on board. Dan's on his own. So uh, look at the state of this thing. Anyway, keep us busy for another couple of minutes. So we're just looking at your sink blockage. What is it? Well, I don't know yet, but uh, coffee, grease, curry. Get yourself in there. Toothpaste, anything else that's got Dan there. written all over it. Has it not got a muncher or do you want to <laughs> <break> there? <laughs> I haven't What's got a, ma a macerator. A macerator, that's it. What sort of boat is this? Okay, great skillet. Tuesday morning on the way to Galway. We've even got a little bit of music for you. in Star Wars number seven. We are, we just had some lunch on our way heading up towards Galway. We're a bit tighty tighty on the breeze, not really making the headlands. Um, real dilemma what to do really. Just sort of not sailing as fast as we'd like to, but you know, if we give away ground, go low, then we'll have to beat out. Forecast, you know, may give us a few more degrees, so we're really hanging on that at the moment. But absolutely stunning this uh, bit of Irish coast. But the good news is that we've managed to block, unblock the sink. It was uh, looked like a, a mass of coffee, coffee grinds in there. So uh, I think we all know that that might have be slightly responsible for probably a build up of several years, I suspect. Anyway, the sun's come out. That's a good thing. So here we go. We got the leaping Dascat dolphins. Leaping Dascat dolphins have just joined us. We've got the Aran Islands over on our port side. Come on baby, where are you? So we've got a little bit of a wriggle on at the moment. Got 13 knots boat speed, 11, 12 knots GPS. Quite lively now. Oh, there they are. Yeah, well then, let's be having you. Up. Up. Woo! Come on, you fast enough to keep up, gentlemen. Right, let's get the phone. Just cat live. Yeah, well then. Aran Islands, just here. There's some windmills up there, which I guess is where we're going. So, Blackhead. Oh, that's 
a white head down it. There be lots of pus inside it. That's got a white head. But there is no head. And then we've got just another ten miles to go up here into the uh, to the finish. Aran Islands again in the distance. Looks like sunset's going to be a bit obscured by the cloud. Ten to ten. Last orders of the pub shut at half eleven, so that's slipping away fairly quickly at the moment. But it's alright because Richard put four cans of Guinness on board, so uh, I think we might get hung if we actually declare that, bringing Guinness into Western Ireland. Looks like there's a quarry, Black, Black Hill, Black Head or whatever it's called. Well here you go, let's see if it's finish time into Galway. 23, 14, 15 seconds. We were met by some lovely gentlemen in a boat, but unfortunately the pubs are shut. So thank goodness Richard had put some Guinness on board the boat because we're going to have our own little Galway party right now. Cheers. Cheers. Well done, Dan. Yeah, well done. Good sail. Indeed. Mm -mm. Well, here we are. Wednesday morning. Galway. We've got the uh, lock gate that's going to open up pretty soon, so uh, I need to make a move. Had a few hours sleep. It's still morning. Little boy that we came on to last night. And then here we are, Pegasus. Ross Hobson's Open 50 and uh, Banksy. A trip up last saw them off of the lizard, I think. Bit of a weapon. Mutton Island over there, I believe. Wonder where Sueños and Cuckoo are. Cacao, Cuckoo. Crow has yet to make himself into a Cornish chuff. He's got to get his beak to go red and then he'll become a Cornish chuff. Bit of tidying up still to do. But a beautiful morning. So we've left uh, Pegasus on Wednesday morning, just on his mooring. Cacao is five miles out from the finish. The breeze looks a little bit light now, and it's uh, a little bit of a headwind. It's uh, ten past six in the morning. We're just heading into Galway. This is where we thought we might have had a little sneaky, uh, sneaky stop alongside the ship here last night, but uh, we're all a bit late for that, really. So must try harder. Galway's looking lovely this morning. Now it's just popping the fenders on the starboard side and then we're going to go and moor alongside Morpheus. So here we are in Galway. Um, Wednesday morning, we've got Pegasus over there. Obviously needs a bit more depth maybe. Um, we're next to Morpheus. Andy from Morpheus is just uh, giving a little tour to some of the local sponsors I think. And uh, we've just had a little breakfast burrito down the road. Catching up with work. Always working. It's not a holiday, Dan, is it? No, always working. So, yeah. It's all uh, all activity here in the uh, Galway docks. We've got Team Morpheus tensioning up the bowsprit a little bit more. Do you need a big one on the end there, do you? Because that's what I do for a living. Well, Do you need a? All oh, right, gas and air. <laughs> Do you need a portly gentleman on the end of the bowl? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. The one that's holding the camera would be ideal. <laughs> and we got uh, Dan up here having a little wiggle. Oh yes. Wave to Oriel. Come on, give her a <laughs> We need some of that, gentlemen. Don't let me down. <laughs> Flat water. <laughs> uh, do you want to take your trousers down now or later? Uh, 
<laughs> I'm not even going to ride. Did, did you enjoy it, though? Have, have one more beer and then you can... Uh, yeah, it was all right. It was all right. It was all right. It's all right. A Galway hooker, or there are different um, small ones, bigger ones, I think generally called hookers, but then the Commodore was telling us about all the different little variations of them. He said when it gets a bit lively and breezy, they uh, roll over and then they fill up with water and sink. Is there any downside? Still. Ah. Thank you, Michelle. Cheers. This is. Uh, do you mind social media? I don't mind. Right. Okay. Michelle from Cuckoo. Uh, Cuckoo. 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 Right. Yeah. I don't even know how it's explained. <laughs> <laughs> Pronounced. Anyway, and there's um, yeah, the reception's just starting. Anyway, bye bye for now. <laughs> Genesis, I just wanted to say um, it's been a pleasure to uh, sponsor the Galway Lake of this stopover tour. We're going to have Seafest every weekend once we get the show away. And... Three, four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so anyway, I won't go on too much, but I, I know that it, this is just part and parcel of the dream. It's been a long dream for a long time for many people, and we're going to get there. And, uh, Good morning, go away. Maybe it's Thursday. Here comes Easy Tiger. They've been out on their boy for a little bit. I think they got in last night. So they're just going to squeeze into the uh, into the row. Cuckoo, Belladonna, Sueños. The guy's here. I don't know whether Nemo's out there. Maybe she might be. We got the uh, the guys, the dock guys. Morning. They're welcoming everybody in and out. No pressure from the uh, parking police here. So yes, Morpheus departed, locked out because he's got to uh, leave about six o'clock tonight, and the gates won't be open at that time. So we're going to leave on tonight's gate. <laughs> right. So, how was it out there? <laughs> Welcome to Galway. Very long. We leave the log. We did 540 miles. Oh bloody hell! Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. It probably overreached slightly. Yeah, yeah. Still, still a good hundred miles for the straight line. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it uh, it slowed down, didn't it, for you guys? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. The, the last bit up. Yeah. Up to the Galway Bay here, we had two hours of. Basically, no wind at all, and then another two of it. Well, I was at the clock. Yeah, well, we sort of literally, as we were coming in, we were worried about the last two miles where the wind yeah, suddenly we, went. We had that as well, and Nemo had it even worse. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, lads, can you put this round the Right, here we go. Nemo is arriving in Galway Wednesday morning. Out the boy last night. We got the Easy Tiger guys. They finished at midnight-ish. Yeah, ten past. And <laughs> and Nemo. What time do they get in? It was a good know. pair of hours after us. So that, that it really shut down. Right. Oh dear, time. a pair of hours. I quite like that. You're fitting very well around here. <laughs> anyway, here comes Nemo. The last of the multi centre boats. Matt and Nora doing their thing. Little wave going into the corner of the dock there to a uh, a damp island. Unfortunately, we left our boots out last night, so uh, we've got damp boots to put on tonight. So it's Catamaran Alley, Easy Tiger, Hissy Fit, Cucao, Cuckoo, Cuckoo, Belladonna, Brendan and Dominic, and here's Sueños, is Matt and Honora on Nemo. Here they come, looking reversing in beautifully. What boat skills? A 
and the uh, dock crew are welcoming. There's uh, Fergal, who's the uh, rear Commodore Sail. Who's your other guy? Nigel. Nigel. Nigel's been uh, in the rib um, at the finish line with his uh, compadre, okay. helping everybody across the line. How are we? Good, good. Had a sleep? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you were doing the wind, I went back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> no chance I'm staying awake in this. No, it was terrible. Yeah, yeah, it's been a long, long last day, hasn't it? Yeah, stuck in the tunnel, like, no, zero knots of wind. Still, yeah, yeah, you've arrived, well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome, Matt's getting the uh, local lowdown from Nigel. All right, Matt, well done. <laughs> I think the next one might be longer. That's why we're leaving you lot to leave early. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> right, then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>